art has always been a part of my life. If you look around and you see these little kids painting, that was me at six, seven, and eight. I primarily do portrait work, so I hope that they see beauty and vibrant colors and I feel like I try to evoke the, the spirit of the individual that I'm painting, so I hope they feel some type of emotional connection to my work. What brought me here was Abbas Cabas, a Washington, D.C. arts collective. Um, because of the work that I've done um, in, in Acostia with murals and um, arts education for you. I love the fact that the Folk Life Festival um, invited artists to, to paint live um, and not only that, to invite um, the community to, to help out with the process. So everyone is engaged in the arts, not just the artists. It's one thing to see an artist in process of making the art, um, but to one, be inspired by that, and two, pick up a paintbrush. I think a lot of times in this society in, in general, everyone thinks that the artist is the artist. They don't really consider themselves an artist, but everyone um, should be involved in some type of creativity in their, in their life. So I think this is a really great outlet for everyone. I think that it's important for um, Anacostia to be represented in the Folk Life Festival um, because it's, it's a part of Washington, D.C. and it's such a, a budding creative area. If you go across the river, you see galleries, you see art all over the place in downtown Anacostia. Um, and even farther down, um, I met some really talented artists who have studio spaces um, uh, deep in Anacostia. So I think that um, there's a lot of exciting artistic energy happening there. And I think that this is just a forum to kind of showcase that.